Brown asks Trump for wildfire aid as state battle 17 blazes a tower of smoke pours from Cow Mountain as Bernie, California firefighter Bob May keeps a watch on surrounding vegetation for spot fires during a wildfire off Scotts Valley Road, Thursday, August. 2, 2018, near Lakeport, Caliph Kent Porter, the press Democrat via AP, San Francisco, AP, Gov. Jerry Brown on Saturday called on President Donald Trump to help California fight and recover from another devastating wildfire season. Brown inspected neighborhoods wiped out by a wildfire in the northern California city of Redding and the Democratic governor said he was confident the Republican president he has clashed with over immigration and pollution policies would send aid, which Trump did last year when the California's wine country was hit hard. The president has been pretty good on helping us in disasters so I'm hopeful, Brown said. Tragedies bring people together. Authorities said there are 17 major fires burning throughout California. In all, they have destroyed hundreds of homes, killed eight people and shut down Yosemite National Park. Fire season is really just beginning, said California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection Chief Ken Pimlot. The biggest blazes continue to burn north of San Francisco, including twin wildfires fueled by dry vegetation and hot, windy weather. Those fires destroyed 55 homes and forced thousands of residents to flee their neighborhoods about 100 miles 161 kilometers north of the city. They have grown to almost 250 square miles 648 kilometers. The two fires have charred an area of the forested, rural area five times the size of San Francisco and were only 27% contained. Thousands of people remain evacuated. The National Weather Service issued red flag warnings of critical fire weather conditions through Saturday night, saying a series of dry low-pressure systems passing through the region could bring wind gusts of up to 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour, that could turn small fires or even sparks into racing walls of flames. This is a particularly dangerous situation with extremely low humidity and high winds. New fires will grow rapidly out of control. In some cases people may not be able to evacuate safely in time should a fire approach, the Weather Service said in its bulletin for the Mendocino area north of San Francisco. As a precaution, new evacuations were called Friday for an area of Mendocino and Lake Counties where the week-old twin fires are threatening about 9,000 homes. The fire remained several miles from the evacuated communities along the eastern shore of Clear Lake but, it looks like there's dicey weather on the way, California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection spokeswoman Jane Laboa said. However, some days old evacuations were lifted Friday in an area near Redding, where armies of firefighters and fleets of aircraft continue battling an immense blaze about 100 miles 160 kilometers south of the Oregon line. Some areas on the fire's southeastern flank were reopened to residents. Call Fire officials said the so-called car fire, which killed six people and incinerated 1,067 homes, started two weeks ago with sparks from the steel wheel of a tow trailer's flat tire. The blaze is currently 41% contained. The fire burned slowly for days before winds suddenly whipped it up last week and drove it furiously through brush and timber. It burned so furiously on July 26 that it created fire whirl. The twirling tower of flame reached speeds of 143 miles per hour, 230 kilometers per hour, which rivaled some of the most destructive Midwest tornadoes, National Weather Service meteorologist Wayne Dikema said. The whirl uprooted trees and tore roofs from homes, Dikema said. The California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, which uses acres to describe fire size, said the blaze had blackened nearly 206 square miles, 533 square kilometers. In the Sierra Nevada, firefighters achieved 41% containment of a forest fire that has shut down Yosemite Valley and other adjacent portions of Yosemite National Park at what is normally the height of summer tourism. The fire had reached into remote areas of the country's third oldest national park. Workers who live in Yosemite's popular valley region were ordered to leave Friday because of inaccessible roads. 
the blaze has killed two firefighters. A new report says the first firefighter, a California bulldozer operator, nearly slipped off a steep mountain trail three times before his vehicle finally rolled into a ravine and fatally crushed him. Each earlier slip alone qualified as a near-miss warning that the century-old mining trail could collapse, according to the Department of Forestry and Fire Protection's preliminary report. Braden Varney, 36, was working alone overnight July 14 fighting the wildfire while his assistant went to get a new hydraulic hose. Varney's radio wasn't communicating with headquarters, so his assistant relayed messages until they lost contact. The report says the death of the 10-year veteran highlights the need for better risk assessment, communication and supervision. Underscore 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 Associated Press writer Don Thompson contributed to this report from Sacramento, California. Follow apps wildfire coverage here. HTTPS colon slash slash appnews.com slash tag slash wildfires copyright copyright 2018 The Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, written or redistributed.